In the beginning, there was only the sea, the vast blue of the Pacific. And then the floor of the ocean cracked open. In a cataclysm of fire and steam, molten rock gushed forth from the Earth's hot inner core. Spurting from this deep crack for millions of years, rock piled upon rock. Until one day, the first peaks of land rose above the sea. It was then that the Hawaiian Islands, for the first time, felt the warm light of day. Through eons of time, the land rose and the winds and the sea formed it into what Mark Twain has called the loveliest fleet of islands that lies anchored in any ocean. Swift streams have carved the land into rugged and spectacular forms. Lofty mountains push upward into the clouds towering over 30,000 feet above the ocean floor. These volcanic islands are but the exposed peaks of the world's highest mountain range, most of which lies beneath the sea. Sailing their outrigger canoes across thousands of miles of Pacific, the Polynesians were the first to inhabit Hawaii migrating from other islands in the 11th century. The Polynesians were mighty sailors, a vigorous and handsome people. For over 700 years, the Polynesians lived here, unknown to the Western world, until their island paradise was discovered by the English explorer, Captain Cook, in 1778. Lying 2,400 miles across the Pacific Ocean from the American mainland, Hawaii, at its own request, became a territory of the United States in 1898. Congress granted full statehood in 1959, and America's 50th state was welcomed into the Union. Of the 23 islands recognized in the Hawaiian chain today, only seven are inhabited. Hawaii, the largest island, Maui, Molokai, Lanai, Oahu, Kauai, and Nihihau. A land area about equal in size to the states of Connecticut and New Jersey together. On the big island of Hawaii, Kilauea and Mauna Loa are among the world's most active volcanoes. Still erupting, pouring molten rock across the face of the land and into the sea. Much of the land on this island is covered by the lava flows. On the island of Maui, Haleakala, the world's largest dormant volcanic crater, has lain silent and naked as the face of the moon since its last eruption nearly 300 years ago. Oahu is the most important island. Over three quarters of the 600,000 people of Hawaii live here. The city of Honolulu on Oahu is not only the capital, but it is truly the crossroads of the Pacific, center of transportation and commerce for the whole Pacific area. A rapidly growing city of over 300,000 people The Aloha Tower stands in the harbor to welcome ships of many nations which call at this port of Honolulu, linking Hawaii with the rest of the world. Most manufactured goods must be imported. But in spite of this, prices are little more than on the mainland. Seven airlines link Hawaii with the mainland, Australia, and the Orient. 
Honolulu Airport is one of the busiest in the entire United States. Transportation between the islands is almost exclusively by air. The furthest island from Oahu is only an hour away. In many ways, Honolulu is not unlike any other American city. People work in stores and banks and offices, and their average income is much higher than it is in many states on the mainland. They pay taxes, vote, attend church, play football, ride buses, buy the same soaps, and drive the same cars as do the people of Kansas City or Miami. They attend excellent schools and universities, listen to a number of different radio and television stations, read any one of seven daily newspapers, have hamburgers at a drive-in, or dine at a fine hotel. Here, life combines the conveniences and advantages of our modern industrial society with the ease and calm of bygone times. The sea is never far. With an annual average temperature of 74 degrees, they're swimming the year round. Exotic flowers grow in profusion, nurtured by an abundance of sun and rain, which falls in great amounts in some areas. Rain clouds may hang heavily in one place, while only a few miles away, the sun shines forth from a clear blue sky. Here, gentleness is a way of life, and there's a basic sweetness in the character of the people. Though pure Hawaiians or Polynesians now account for only 17% of the population, the traditions and culture of old Hawaii remain. The hula, its story told through the motion of the hands, is the universal dance of the islands. A luau is a feast in which a roast pig is prepared in the ancient Hawaiian manner. Statues commemorate great Hawaiian kings like Kamehameha, and streets are named for them. The Iolani Palace, former home of the kings and queens of Hawaii, is the only royal palace in the United States. Many Hawaiian words are used in speech and print. Kaukau -kau means food. Although Buddhist temples are strange to most parts of America, Oriental religions and traditions are common in Hawaii. Chinese and Japanese shops and restaurants line Honolulu streets. Hawaiians of Japanese descent now account for about one-third of the population. Their native customs provide variety and color. Most Japanese were born here and are as American as the citizens of any other city in the United States. Their skills have been an important factor in the growth and development of the islands. Another third of the population is descended from several different races, among them Polynesian, Chinese, Filipino, Korean. About a third of the people of Hawaii are of the white or Caucasian race. Nowhere in the world do so many races live so harmoniously and productively together. There is an almost infinite variety of combinations of the various ancestries. Many of the people can count English, Dutch, Chinese, Italian, Korean, and some, many other nationalities among their ancestors. This fusing of the races is going on in one of the most healthful climates in the world, under the American standard of living. The result is as handsome and friendly a people as you'll find anywhere on Earth. Agriculture is Hawaii's main industry. Sugar is the most important crop, bringing in more than half of Hawaii's income from exports. The sugar industry is Hawaii's biggest taxpayer, employs the most people, and pays them the world's highest wages for agricultural workers. Efficient sugar production has been made possible by a high degree of mechanization and intensive scientific research. Sugar requires an enormous amount of water, 
It takes over 250 gallons to produce just one pound of refined sugar. Irrigation experiments are constantly underway. Portable aluminum flumes are the newest method of carrying water to the fields, while overhead irrigation has proven most practical in some locations. Automatic machines plant the seed cane pieces, apply the various liquid and solid fertilizers necessary to produce the high yield, and harvest over a million tons of sugar a year. Most of it is sent to the mainland, where it is refined and marketed. In Hawaii, sugar is indeed king. Pineapple, long a symbol of Hawaii, is the second largest industry. The islands of Oahu, Kauai, Molokai, Maui, and Lanai produce about 75% of the world's supply of pineapple. Before planting, strips of paper are laid across the fields, forming rows. The paper helps prevent the growth of weeds, conserves moisture and fertilizer, and increases soil temperature. Slips from mature plants are distributed along the lines of paper, and the planters begin their operations. It requires about 20 months for the plants to mature and bear fruit. Now comes the work of spraying, fertilizing, and controlling weeds to guide the plants through healthy growth to a successful harvest. When peak harvest time comes in early summer, many seasonal workers are employed in the fields. Trained pickers walk along the rows selecting only the fully ripe fruit. When the bin on the harvester is full, the machine is raised so that the truck hauling it may drive away. At the cannery, the bins are lifted from the trucks and the pineapples dumped on conveyor belts to begin their way through the processing plant. In the form of juice, whole or sliced pineapple, well over a hundred million dollars worth is exported each year. Over 30 million cases to be loaded aboard the ships. A reminder of the vital role this fruit plays in the Hawaiian economy is the giant pineapple which looms over the Honolulu skyline. Pearl Harbor and the rusting hulk of the battleship Arizona are grim reminders of the Japanese attack in 1941, which claimed so many lives. The National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific is the resting place for more than 14,000 who lost their lives in the Pacific War and in the Korean conflict. Among them are the graves of many Hawaiian Japanese who died defending America. Today, the Marine Corps, Air Force, Army, and Navy in Hawaii are an important part of the economy. Hawaii is the center of our highly complex Pacific defense system, stretching across the Pacific to Japan and China. The armed forces in Hawaii are important as the first line of defense for America's west coast. Units are trained for constant combat readiness. Visitors to the islands have made tourism the third largest industry and most rapidly expanding activity. Few places on earth offer as much to delight the visitor. 
magnificent scenery. Quiet beaches in a climate where it's always spring. The beach and the sea at Waikiki. Visitors thrill to the unique mood and atmosphere of Hawaii, distilled from its history and geography, and the wonderful, gentle people who live here. With all its beauty, brilliant mosaic of cultures, thriving industries, and military importance, Hawaii offers much to all America as the 50th State of the Union. 